Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Sometimes I, I, I listen carefully to the conversations of people and all those things and I, and I remember that one time I, I mean um, I was watching a couple and they were really at each other's throat and they were throwing things at each other and they were, I mean it was a madhouse and I could see, I mean accusations and counter accusations, accusations and counter accusations. And I was listening very, very quietly. And then, you know, I could see that the, the, the man had so offended the woman and there are things the guy had done. Boy, I mean, to be honest with you, if I was a lady sister, maybe I would have punched the person in the name of Jesus. Terrible things, terrible things. And I was just listening to her and she was talking to him and he was arguing with her and, and he, she, she wouldn't keep quiet. But she was crying as she was talking. She was crying and she was in tears. You could see that, I mean, her body was racked with pain and there was a deep anguish in her heart. And there was a deep pain in her heart. And some of the things that she was saying was really, really very serious. And I was listening. And as I was, as I was listening, this scripture just struck me. You know, the, the scripture in Habakkuk 3, when Habakkuk was saying that, Lord, in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years, in your wrath, remember mercy. In the midst of the years, Lord, remember mercy. Then I said, oh, 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 wait a minute. I look and look at the couple and then a whole revelation opened up to me. Sometimes when we're getting into relationships, when we're getting into marriage and all those things, it looks as if we have a silver lining and all that. It looks as if, you know, like a fairy tale. And they lived happily, happily ever after. You know the fairy tale stories. That's our expectations, that's our hopes. Those are our dreams. Those are the things that we really want. And the Bible, I mean, but to be honest with you, is it real? Sometimes, you know, we, in marriage, especially we the men, we begin to take things for granted. We begin to take the things they do for us for granted. We're gonna take our wives, our spouses, not only that, not only the men, because I've known of women who, oh boy, I mean, they, they, they were violent. And, and, and they were abusive, physically abusive to their husbands. Yes, yes, that is true. I mean, and, and some of them had tongues that will lacerate the soul. Tongues that will, will cut you to smithereens. Tongues that bruise people. And sometimes we treat things, I mean, and then we take things for granted. The spark goes out, the flame dies out, and all we have is a bottle of remorse to feed on and to drink. A plate of remorse to feed on or a glass of remorse to drink from. A bottomless glass of remorse. And all these things are leaping at us. And I remember the scripture. In the midst of the years. So God, we are telling God, you see, our relationship with him, wow, nice, interesting. But then it is the middle years that are very powerful years. The middle years are really the determining years. Whether there's going to be longevity in the relationship or not. It is the middle years. And then they said, in the midst of the years, remember mercy. So guess what? In the middle years, we should relate to each other by mercy. What is mercy? The wrong is there. Something has gone wrong, but you choose mercy. There's judgment, but let mercy kiss the mouth of judgment. There's something that has gone wrong, but we're holding on to the altars of mercy. So I, 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 I tell my wife that, please relate to me with mercy. In the midst of the years. Remember mercy. That means we relate to each other by mercy. That we're walking a long road of forgiveness. We're walking a long road of saying, it's okay, it's okay, let's just move on. A long road, and it's a decision in the midst of the years. Remember mercy. That means feast on mercy. Have mercy as, as a cornerstone. Have mercy as an altar. Have mercy as a structure that you're looking at consistently. That's what Habakkuk was saying. So, you know, God, at the start, we'll be fine. But it's in the middle years that we begin to mess up. And please relate to us 
through the eyeglasses of mercy. You need to relate to your spouse through the eyeglasses of mercy. I give them through a long rope of forgiveness. Give them, a, invite them to a table, an endless table of forgiveness in the midst of the years. Lord, remember mercy in thy wrath. Well, it's a choice that we need to make. Sometimes things don't go as we expect and things don't happen the way we want them to do. In the midst of the years, remember mercy. See you later.